It is Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m., September 18th. We leave tomorrow morning, I would say bright and early, but it's gonna probably be dark outside. Anyway, for Hawaii. Uh, in the meantime, I have a lot of house plants. We're trying this like string method to keep everything alive while I'm gone. Most of them probably are gonna be fine um, cause they don't really require a ton of water. There are a couple like my avocado tree I'm a little bit concerned about, but I guess we'll find out when we get back how everything did. Um, I'll top all the water bottles off before I leave in the morning and yeah. Anyway, um, we are packing and doing laundry and cleaning the house and all of that kind of jazz today to get ready to go tomorrow. Oh, we've got a, we have to sign daughter's birthday card and I have husbands here somewhere. I have to do the same to his anyway, <laughs> cause we're celebrating the two birthdays while we're there. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything creative done today, but cause there's a ton of other stuff to do, but we'll see. I'll be back. Guys, it's 12:30 Honolulu time. Yes, 12:30. That's right. We're in Honolulu. We made it. Yay! Yeah. We are just waiting for our shuttle to a hotel and all of that stuff. But the flight was pretty painless. It was just this flight. Very early in the morning. But you know, it was very nice flight. It was nice. Smooth takeoff, smooth landing. It was all complimentary. No beverage. Good. He did, yeah. I just had ginger ale, but no. Anyway, and yes, I look a little tired because we did get up at five o'clock this morning. Anyway, I'm nice. <laughs> it looks beautiful. But hopefully, we're gonna be able to check into the hotel when we get there, even if it's a little early. And then we'll go walk around. I'll take you with us, and we'll be back. We'll walk around. Yeah, I'll be back. and we're already having a little adventure. We've only been here like an hour. Um, the shuttle that was supposed to pick us up never came. <laughs> and so one of their other drivers swung around and he's picking us up and gonna take us to our hotel. He's picking up some other people too. So yep. we'll so all we'll just, sit back to work. yeah, we'll sit back. We're on vacation. We told them, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Did what? we expect to be sitting on a hard bench in the sun at the airport for this long? Not really. Well, we can't check in anyway. He, yeah, so, so we're just thinking if it takes a little longer, maybe that's a good thing because maybe we'll be instead of like two hours early, we'll only be a half an hour early. Yeah. Maybe they'll let us check in. We'll check in. So, so we go walk about. Yeah, I'm good with that. So anyway, it's an interesting start to the vacation. Yep. We'll be back. We're at the Beach Comer by Outrigger in Waikiki. It is a cute little hotel. I mean, all over the hotel, you have like wall, mural, yeah, wall murals and artwork and our room is already a mess because we've unpacked.
Aloha. It is 9.58 a.m. Sorry about the noise. Anyway, we already had our morning coffee. We're out for a walk, headed down to the beach. And maybe if we find a place with a little bit of shade and some place to sit, I might do some sketching, but we'll see. I'll be back. Military Museum. We unfortunately can't get in because it's closed until December for construction. They're doing something, I don't know. But they do have some displays outside of military equipment. Which you wouldn't think military equipment or airplanes would be something I'd be fascinated by. And yet I am. Because if nothing else, like look at this tank. Hold on. You certainly get inspiration for like colors and textures. Look at that rusty green. Can't you picture that like on a box or a journal cover or something? So yeah, there's that. I know I'm weird. I'm aware. I'll be it's back. The museum. But look at the park and grounds surrounding said museum. Holy crap. So we're gonna go find some place to sit down and enjoy the fresh air. Oh, I don't know. Does anybody know what those birds are back there? Hold on. You got any idea what those are? Either cranes or herons. Something. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I'm alright with it. Alright, let's find some place to sit down. Preferably in the shade if we can find it, but... Okay. Okay, you guys, we did stop and get a little sketching in. I'll put the picture here. Um, I've got a lot more sketches to do. That's just the first one of this trip. Anyway, as per usual lately, every time we visit Hawaii, there's a Masonic brother from my husband's lodge in California here in Hawaii at the same time that we are. I don't know if he lives here or if he's just visiting, we're not sure, but they're asking if we can get together. So we might be spending the afternoon with them. I'll keep you posted. I'll be back. You put it there and you hit it with the rock? Yeah, put it in the hole, like in a little... Okay. And then you can do the rock and then that's where you get the nut. <laughs> Dean is going to go and uh, crack open a macadamia nut. Oh. Oh. There, yeah, there you go. You got it? Yep. Yeah, let's see. There oh. you go. You got to show it to us. No. You got to get it all the way out. No, it's not out all break the way it out. Some more. Yeah. Break it some more. <laughs> Pound the crap out of it. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Yep. Okay, let Bob taste it then. <laughs> <laughs> I just pretended to see they got got the rooster here <laughs> looking for some looking for some uh, oops, looking for some, uh, some leftovers. Nuts, macadamia nuts. <clears throat> Is it gonna give you the runs okay. though? Like it does humans here. Okay. So okay, my now it's my turn. Rumbling in the background is the air conditioner unit for the hotel. Anyway, it's day three on the island of Oahu, and we are going to go be touring Pearl Harbor. And we have a few minutes before we have to go walk over to the tour bus. And then after that, sometime tonight when we get back, we're going to let our friends Lily and Helen know that we're back. They actually own a condo here on the island, and we will be going out for dinner with them again. Um, very sweet couple. They, Willie is a Masonic brother of my husband's from California, and um, they showed us around to the non-touristy side of the island yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Um, that's where you saw me cracking open a macadamia nut and feeding the chickens and 
yeah so anyway um, we're just relaxing here in the room on our balcony for a bit uh, looking at I mean that view because you know um, and then we'll get our day started I'll be back Okay, you guys, we are back in the hotel room. We have spent the day out again. We went to Pearl Harbor. We saw the Air USS Arizona Memorial. We saw the USS Missouri, um, walked all around over there. We then got picked up by our friends, Willie and Helen, and they drove us around the island. We stopped and had these donuts from this place called Leonard's Bakery home of Mala, Malasadas. I'll, I'll, I don't even know, do, oh, they're they do, Portuguese. they're Portuguese donut and they do have a website. I'm gonna link it down below. Oh my God, if you're on Oahu, go find them and have one. They were so good and we have three left. I don't know that they're gonna be as good cold as they were fresh, but they were so good. Um, and then we had a shave, some shaved ice at a different place. I've had nothing but sugar today except my bone broth. I need some protein. So we are going to go out and go try to grab something. Um, but it has, that being said, it's been a fun day. They drove us all around the island. They are so sweet. And they're going to actually pick us up tomorrow and take us to the airport. They're so sweet. Anyway, I can't say enough about them. Um, we, of course bought some, we went to a pineapple, the Dole Pineapple Plantation. We bought some coffee, we bought some more pineapple because we needed to do that, like we needed a hole in the head. But anyway, I also, I think I said yesterday, I got bit by mosquitoes or something on my ankle. It is red, a little bit puffy and very itchy. And we are gonna go try to find some cream for that because it's making me completely nuts. Plus my feet are kind of swollen and puffy anyway from all the walking we've been doing, but you know. Could be me rambling because I've had nothing but sugar today. Sugar and coffee. I don't think it's good for me. All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I got a couple minutes. Bob is answering a work call. It's Leonard's Bakery on Kapaulu Avenue in Honolulu. Their website's www.leonardshawaii.com. This is them, okay? You ready for this? They are like little round puff balls of dough. They have different flavors. They have different fillings. One is coconut. We couldn't get the coconut because they were sold out because evidently the coconut's their best one. But I gotta tell you, the other ones are great. So anyway, we need to go get some protein as soon as he's done with that. I'll be back. It's Thursday morning, uh, September 22nd. And we are here at the hotel. We're still on Oahu. Uh, we leave later this afternoon for Maui, um, and we're just chilling in the hotel room for the moment. We did both get bitten by uh, the little tiny, I guess, Hawaiian gnats. Super itchy. Oh my god. I don't know if you can tell from that, but my ankle's a little bit swollen and red because, of course, I was itching it like an idiot. Anyway, we went and got some cream. We've got stuff on it. It feels a little bit better anyway. 
I'm gonna sit and do some sketching. We've got a couple hours before we need to leave for the airport and we thought we'd just use the time to just chill and enjoy the fresh air and stuff. So it's all good. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, no more snorkeling for me. Nine staples, I'll tell you more later. Okay, so we're out of the condo, we're out of the hospital. Let me explain a little bit. So I'm always joking around with you guys that my middle name is not Grace. It's really not a joke. I'm really not that graceful and I hurt myself quite often. Last time I was in Maui, we broke my, I broke my toes. This time I have nine staples in my head. Snor no, yeah, snorkeling accident. So yeah, I got caught by a big wave and went head first into the reef and lava rocks and split my head wide open. Got reef rash all out down my back. Reef rash. Reef rash. Uh, I've got some scrapes and bruises and yeah, that's fun. 
but no concussion. They did a CT scan. This is a pool, one pool. Nice. Is this a pool with the place we're staying? There's a little nice. uh, area over here to, um, for a shower. Nice. For a shower. And some barbecues. And barbecues. Let's go this way. Nice. So anyway, we're going to go for a little walk. I am feeling okay. Can't flex my face too much because it makes the staples hurt. But yeah, Don't laugh. No laughing. Don't no. laugh. Keep your laughing. Uh, uh, we need to go find me a hat because when I'm not inside, I need to have something covering the wound to keep it clean. So we're going to go do that. I'll be back. Still so by the doctors in the ER to keep it clean. Put on um, antibiotic ointment and keep it covered if I'm outside. I don't know that I'm really a hat person, but what do you think? Does this work? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, I'll be back. Hubby got sort of a matching hat, so. Is that good or bad? 